Hi, this is Skeeter, and welcome to Parallels Access. In this tutorial video, we will discuss how to manage Parallels Access, add a computer to Access from Parallels Access, connecting to a computer and launching an app from within the App Launcher, how to change Parallels Access settings, how to change Parallels Access agent settings, and finally, how to delete a remote computer from Parallels Access. You can jump directly to any of these sections by clicking on the box or topic name above, or just sit back and watch the entire video. From your Windows PC, open your web browser and navigate to access.parallels.com and then press return. You should now be on the Parallels Access account page. Enter your email and password you just created on your tablet for the account and then click sign in. To install the Parallels Access Agent, move your mouse over to Windows and click on the blue arrow. The Parallels Access Agent will start to download to your Downloads folder. If you are prompted to run or save the file, click Save to let the agent download to your computer and specify where you want to save the file. Once the download is complete, navigate over to where you have your files downloaded and double-click on the Install program to start the installation. Select your desired language and click OK. The setup wizard will start. Click Next to continue and when prompted, click the Accept Radio button and then Install to start the installer. Once the setup wizard is complete, click the Finish button to exit the installer and automatically start the Parallels Access Agent. Now enter your email address and password you created when you registered for your Parallels account and click Sign In. You should now see your PC listed with Parallels Access and a little green light to indicate that your computer is all set up to go and ready to access remotely from your tablet. To connect to your computer from Parallels Access, open the app on your tablet and if not signed in, sign in to get a list of your remote computers. Tap and slide to the left until you find the computer that you wish to access remotely. Once located, tap on either the arrow or computer to remotely connect to it. You will now be in the Application Launcher, where you can tap any application listed to launch it, or add additional applications from your remote computer here. To launch a program, tap on one and you are immediately brought into the app on the remote computer. To return to the App Launcher, tap on the App Launcher rocket icon. You will then be instantly brought back to the App Launcher screen. If you don't see a program that you'd like to access, tap on your secondary menu and select the Edit Applications List menu option. From here you can scroll through your applications, or by tapping on the magnifying glass, you can start to type the name of an application you'd like to add. Once you find the desired application, tap on the checkbox and then tap OK, and the application icon will now appear in the application launcher. To change the behavior of Parallels Access, from within the program, tap the secondary menu and then select Settings and tap on it. Disable Auto Lock. Use this feature to keep the tablet from going to sleep when Parallels Access is running, but the user is not interacting with the device for a specified amount of time. Show Keyboard Automatically. When enabled, this will cause the keyboard to automatically appear whenever you tap on a field or section of an application that will accept text. Run in background. This will keep the connection to the active remote computer established even when you exit Parallels Access or jump to another application on your tablet. You can select the time range from 1 to 10 minutes or turn this feature off. Mute Sound. Mute Sound will mute sound coming from the remote computer so that it will not play on your device. In the Customer Experience section is Report Statistics. Here you can choose to allow Parallels Access to anonymously collect use data about how you access Parallels Access to make the product better. In the Troubleshooting section is Use Detailed Log Messages. Here you can enable this feature if you are experiencing problems with Parallels Access. Only enable this feature if required by technical support as it may slow down app performance. Locate the Parallels Access Agent within the taskbar and click on it to pull up Preferences. Once there, click Advanced to access these settings. 
when connecting to this PC remotely over a secure connection. Select the Login Automatically Within Parallels account to be logged in immediately to your computer. Or if you'd prefer to be prompted for your Windows username and password, select this button. Lock Features Lock this computer when working remotely allows you to keep your computer locked when you're working on it so that no one can see what you're doing on your computer while connected to it. Lock this computer once finished returns your Windows computer to a lock state once you disconnect from it. Participate in Customer Experience Program checkbox allows you to optionally choose to allow Parallels access to anonymously collect user data about how you use access to help Parallels make the product better. Automatically check for updates when checked will allow the Parallels Access Agent to regularly check for updates. Optionally, if you check the Download and Install New Updates in Background checkbox, then updates will automatically be applied to the agent when available. The Use Detailed Log Messages when checked uh, will enable this feature if you are experiencing problems with access. Only enable this feature if requested by technical support as it may slow down the app's performance. Start using Parallels Access when I log into Windows will automatically start the Parallels Access agent when you reboot your computer. To remove a computer from Parallels Access, log into your Parallels account from your web browser by navigating to access.parallels.com. From the Computers tab, look at the computer you wish to delete by clicking on the arrows to the right or left until you find the computer you wish to remove. Once located, just click on the trash can icon. You will then be prompted to delete the computer. To confirm the deletion, just click on Delete and the computer will be automatically removed from Parallels Access. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help, please visit the support page at www.parallels.com forward slash support forward slash home and select Parallels Access from the product list.